Welcome to Clifton Hill. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're answering a very common question that we get. Is the Clifton Hill Pass in Niagara Falls, Canada worth it? Clifton Hill is often called the street of fun by the falls and for good reason. This area is jam packed with attractions for the whole family, restaurants and shops that can keep you entertained for hours. And let's not forget how close it is to one of the world's most famous natural wonders, Niagara Falls. Located one block from the falls, the combination of doing all the Niagara Falls adventures followed by a visit to this electric and fun entertainment district makes Clifton Hill a must visit for anyone no matter what your age. For our complete guide to all the best Niagara Falls attractions at the falls and on the Niagara Gorge, watch our video about the best things to do in Niagara Falls. We have it in the links below and we cover everything from our many visits to Niagara. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell for notifications because we put up new travel videos each week and we post a short daily. Okay, we are on Clifton Hill, and the best way to see it is to get the Clifton Hill Fun Pass. Yeah, it's $34.95. This includes six attractions. So let's go see what kind of fun we can get up to. Ooh, I can't wait. Me either. The Niagara Sky Wheel is the number one attraction here, and your pass includes a ride that lasts between 8 to 12 minutes, taking you around for panoramic views of the falls and the city. See, this is what makes the fun pass really worth it, is that you can come on things that you might not necessarily think of going on before. So, like the Sky Wheel, we've never gone on this before, but because we had the fun pass, we came on, and it was a good decision. Tickets to the Niagara Sky Wheel alone cost $15, but are included with the Clifton Hill Pass. The enclosed gondolas are climate controlled and open year round with both heating and air conditioning. The rides last between 8 to 12 minutes and is open from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. Adults will love the late night rides to see the falls lit up in the colorful displays or to watch the fireworks over the falls. When the sun goes down, Niagara Falls comes to life. Cheers! During the day, if you want to beat the crowds, we highly recommend arriving at 10 a.m. sharp because the tour buses start coming in fast. So a tip for the Sky Wheel is come early before all the buses get here. You get your own little cabin to yourself here. <laughs> Pretty cool. So the great thing about the Clifton Hill Pass is that you can use it within a year. You can start it one day and if you only want to do one activity, you can come back again 365 or 364 days later and use it again. Yeah, it really is a good value and giving you all that extra time to have to try and cram everything into one day. Exactly. But if you want to cram everything in, it's easy to do, so let's move on to the next attraction on our Clifton Hill Adventure Pass. We're off to the zombie attack. We're at the zombie attack ride. It's like a 6D, very aggressive ride. I'm a little bit worried because uh, I do oh. tend, oh, I too tend to get a little motion sickness. So let's hope. I did get sick on the minion ride. Here we go. Zombie. Ah. Coming first. Here we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, you feel the motion. Zombie Attack is the largest multi-sensory ride in North America. As you immerse in the moving theater, you challenge other players in battle to save the word as you shoot at zombies. <laughs> this ride is $9.99 per person alone, but it's included with your pass. That 
was crazy. That was some seriously action-packed fun, but you do get motion around. <laughs> All right, the zombie attack so far is my favorite. It's been a lot of fun. There's a lot of action. You get moving back and forth. You got to shoot a lot of zombies. Who's not going to have fun doing that? We also had our choice between dinosaur golf or wizard golf. We chose wizard golf and loved the glow-in-the-dark Harry Potter theme. So you have your choice between outdoor or indoor golf. We're taking the wizard's glow-in-the-dark golf that's inside. Ooh, it's Harry Potter theme. Mini golf costs $10.99 for an 18-hole round if you were to buy it on your own. But like everything else in this Niagara Falls video, this is included in your Clifton Hill Pass. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa! That was the attack of the attack of the wizard ball. You know what it was? It was the event course. Ah, uh, yeah, it was. The course is magical, transporting you to a wizarding world with glow-in-the-dark golf balls and set pieces. We're kicking butt here. I think I'm like four under. Nice. To the 18th hole. I got my 18th hole in that hole up there. So I got a tip sticker. Blam, baby, blam. The outdoor dinosaur golf is the other course and it looked fantastic as well. So we'll definitely be going back to try that one soon. Cosmic Coaster, we get to ride the movie. What movie? The Cosmic Coaster is located in the Great Canadian Midway. Tickets on its own cost $6.99, but it's included in the Clifton Hill Pass and you can go anytime you like. I'm really loving the pass, this is a lot of fun. Oh, here we go. I'll the, tell you about it in a minute. The curtains are closing behind us. Here we go. The show's about to start. The Cosmic Coaster is an XD theater that is completely immersive with moving seats, dazzling effects in 3D, and a simulator. You feel like you are actually riding a roller coaster. That was awesome. I was really impressed with that. I did not expect it to be that good. Wow, that was a crazy ride. I actually felt like you were on this never-ending roller coaster. You gotta do it when you come here to Niagara Falls. Next up, we're heading to Ghost Blasters. I guess we're gonna shoot some ghosts. Got good at the zombies. All right, it's a competition. We're shooting at the blue light targets. I think there's gonna be some ghosts. Ooh. Ghost Blasters is also located in the Great Canadian Midway, and it is included with your pass. It's a fun amusement park ride where you shoot lasers at ghosts for points. Dave and I armed up and had a competition to see who was the best sharpshooter. And even with the video camera in my hand, I won. We're in the Movie Land Museum, which is like a wax museum with a whole bunch of different statues. Kind of cool if you're a movie buff. The final inclusion of the Clifton Hill Pass is the Movie Land Wax Museum. We suggest leaving this until the end, as it really doesn't matter if there are crowds or lines. I feel that it needs a bit of an update, but they have included a Marvel and superhero exhibit, so it looks like it's on the right track. I am Groot. And being included in the price makes it worth walking through. Yeah, baby. Groot, <laughs> San Diego. Hey, hey. It's super time. Hey. Over here, over here. Oh, that's so good. Huh? I can't believe that any of these people would be happy with these black figures. Come on, look at Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Come on. <laughs>
When you are finished up at Clifton Hill, make sure to take a walk down to the falls and spend some time exploring there. There's a lot of things you can do for free. Beautiful. I just love the walkway that they have along the Niagara Gorge here. Yeah, it's nice and cool in the summer. You get great views of the falls all the way along. To do all of the attractions in Niagara Falls in one package, make sure to get the Adventure Pass. It includes entrance to all of the attractions and transportation getting around Niagara Falls. We're going to be talking about that in the next video, so make sure to check that out. It's your WeGo Pass. It's a great way to get around Niagara Falls. Don't have to park. So with your Adventure Pass, you get access to the WeGo Network, which is a bunch of different lines that take you all around Niagara Falls. And there are two main areas to stay at Niagara Falls, the Clifton Hill area and the Falls View area. If you're traveling with kids, we highly recommend staying in the Clifton Hill area to be near the Midway and all of the fun attractions. Adults will want to stay at the Falls View area, which is more of an adult-oriented place with beautiful views of the falls, great nightlife, a casino, excellent entertainment, with many Falls View hotels to choose from, and a lot of dining options. So is the Clifton Hill Pass worth it? From our perspective, absolutely. If you bought each attraction separately, you'd pay $60.95. For $34.95, it's a big savings and we enjoyed each attraction thoroughly. Plus, you have a whole year to use your e-ticket admissions. Niagara Falls was recently voted one of Canada's biggest tourist traps, but if you buy the Clifton Hill Pass and the Adventure Pass, which we talk about in the next video, you'll find that you can have a fulfilling vacation experience at one of the world's great wonders. And that's it for today's video. If you've used the Clifton Hill Pass, let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel tips because we put out a new video each week.